Cancer and Biochemistry 21. Today I want to talk about your mitochondria and a nutrient called alpha lipoic acid and your best strategies for fighting and preventing cancer. Hello, it's March 27, 2019, and I am Dr. Colleen Huber, a naturopathic medical doctor in Tempe, Arizona. And I would like to examine this nutrient, alpha lipoic acid, and how it can play a decisive role in preventing cancer. In my previous videos in this series, we paid a lot of attention to this very detailed chart here, for which we give a lot of credit to biochemists and Sigma Aldrich for providing for the advancement of biochemistry and medical science. And if you remember, we focused a lot of attention here on this yellow shape, the mitochondrion, that's mitochondrion singular and mitochondria plural. This, you remember, is the power plant of the cell. It is where we make ATP, which is our currency of energy. This is what allows us to move, to think, to stay alive and thrive, doing everything we are capable of doing. You may remember that normal metabolism takes this path down through the mitochondria. This is the normal healthy pathway that our cells take all the time. I also talked about the alternative to the use of the mitochondria. That is, the alternative pathway is here in which pyruvate is converted to lactic acid. This path, which skips the mitochondria, is the path taken by cancer. Cancer metabolism goes off this way to your right. Even in someone with late stage cancer, we can expect most of their tissue and cells to go through the normal pathway, not the cancer pathway. The treatments that we do at our naturopathic cancer clinic in Tempe, Arizona are called metabolic treatments because they work with the normal metabolism of the body, using and directing toward the mitochondria here. Alpha lipoic acid is the most common form that we find in nature of lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic acid is helpful to us in directing metabolism here into the mitochondria at this point. It works by activating the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So what is that, you may ask, and where does it work? If you have studied biochemistry, or if you managed to stay awake from my previous videos in this series, you probably remember this chart very well from Sigma Aldrich, labeled Metabolic Pathways. In this chart, we see this very important mitochondria here, an essential headquarters, if you will, for metabolism. And in my opinion, our best defense against cancer, right here. In here, in the mitochondria, we have the end result of normal metabolism. This is where we want our food to go when it breaks down, rather than over here to your right, because that is the cancer pathway from pyruvate to lactate. Lactate dehydrogenase is an enzyme that takes our metabolism over there, but what we want instead is to activate pyruvate dehydrogenase in order to take our metabolism down here into the mitochondria. In other words, we have here in pyruvate dehydrogenase a competing enzyme, an enzyme that competes with cancer. You may remember from my first video in the series that vitamin B1 or thiamine is essential to begin this process, to come here, to bring metabolism here into the mitochondria in order to help convert pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. However, another essential cofactor is alpha lipoic acid. It activates the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Just having this large and complex molecule inside the mitochondria and in working order with the very necessary alpha lipoic acid seems to attract or to draw the pyruvate through the easy to penetrate outer membrane and then the harder to penetrate inner membrane. With the alpha lipoic acid on board, the large pyruvate dehydrogenase complex seems to be able to work correctly and to draw its substrate in. Thus, not only vitamin B1 is necessary to convert pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, branching off to the normal pathway away from the cancer pathway, but alpha lipoic acid is helpful in this reaction also. However, there is another function of alpha lipoic acid, and that is that it is necessary in the citric acid cycle here necessary in order to help form alpha-ketoglutarate to keep the cycle going so that we can harvest the intermediates for energy to produce NADH, which provides needed electrons in order to run the electron transport chain. Alpha-ketoglutarate is considered to be even more important in that it is the uh, gatekeeper or regulator of the citric acid cycle. So alpha-lipoic acid is hugely important in this too. 
Here is a diagram from Cyclochem of these rolls of alpha lipoic acid. You may be wondering what foods are high in alpha lipoic acid. Finally, I have some vegan foods to mention. Spinach and broccoli have by far the highest concentrations of ALA that I know of. DrJockers.com gives us this lovely photo of these yummy green vegetables. That's my wrap-up of alpha lipoic acid and its essential role in your mitochondrial metabolism. It's March 27, 2019. I'm Dr. Colleen Huber, and thanks for watching.